the Jethro Tull song, is it? It's called Living in the Past, but in brackets, because that's where I grew up. That's the full title of the it's song. It's got a brilliant flute solo by Richard Hightower Garth. Hightower. Uh, apparently that's what the H stands for. Hightower. I know, I love it. It's like a collective noun of giraffes. Yeah. Hightower of giraffes. Yes, a brilliant uh, flute player from and guitarist. He's an all-round musician and a great songwriter himself. But he comes from Alabama and he even has a tattoo of a banjo on his knee to prove he comes from Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> it's got Dave Mole playing slide all over it, living in the past, because that's where I grew up. Do you want to tell people a little bit about the story behind it? Well, it's kind of like, let's get it over with <laughs> in the first or the second song, whatever. Yes, there will be mention, mentions of things from the past because, you know, they were great things and they're worth uh, preserving and, and, and telling stories about. So it's got some stories. Pasquale who put on a gig once where he had 13 punk bands and for a dollar you get 13 punk bands and a hot dog and a big bowl of speed so you can dip the hot dog in speed and you get your food, you get your drugs and, and also a pot of beer. You had a keg as well, all for a dollar. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I was there. And uh, they, they, during one of the punk bands at the end, they ruined the toilets, the punks, and they smashed a hole in the wall. It was in the club rooms of a footy club. And he had to get, get all his mates in to fix the toilets. <laughs> maybe dip, maybe the, the speed wasn't a good addition to the um, punk. Yeah, well, I missed event. that. That was that was uh, that was right at the dregs of it, and there was no hot dogs left. <laughs> and there was all these people talking talking lots. <laughs> I think John Lawrence makes an appearance on that one as oh, well. Yeah. Our mate John. Yeah, John Lawrence was there at the time, and I got I got him because he lives way up in the. In the hills, where does he live? Somewhere, yeah, past Danny you know, yes. up in the hills there. And he came down for the day. It took him hours, and I got him in the studio, into Rob's studio in Coburg, and I wanted him to sing one line, pushed, because he used to do it in his band, the Brotherhood of John Lawrence, one of the greatest bands from the ballroom. They sum up to me the sound of St Kilda, and that style of band that came out of that era, 79 to His new band's really good, the John Lawrence Hour. He's always had good bands. Great players. Yeah, a band once called The Beak. Oh, really? (laughs) That's a great name. Yeah. The John Lawrence Hour. Should be a TV show. But I, I just think he's one of the most intense performers ever, and I reckon if you could harness the power that comes out of him when he's on stage... You could probably, you know, be an alternative to electricity. A John Lawrence-led uh, recovery, economic recovery, <laughs> a, and a climate change recovery. I notice he's on the the next track too. He's oh, all over. Gosh. Oh, he's all over the album. <laughs>